for to treat some under eye uh, dark blue veins uh, that can contribute to dark circles under the eye uh, and on the temple. In order to protect her eyes while we're doing the procedure, we're going to put in some metal eye shields first. We'll put in some numbing eye drops, just like at the eye doctor. Robin's going to immediately apply an ice pack after to make sure we keep the skin cool. You'll notice a, a little spray uh, immediately before and after the laser that cools the skin as well. So I think we're going to start right underneath here. So we see an immediate contraction of the blood vessel. You see it disappear? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty immediate results. You can get bruising from this and a little swelling. Uh, not every time you get bruising, but I have every patient be prepared for it. One little. And we just take our time doing this. So, um, unlike other laser procedures where it's zap, 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 zap. We have to kind of take our time because this big target here, once it gets heated up, it can uh, cause some damage to the skin. So this should only be done by someone who's very experienced uh, in laser uh, treatments and should only be done with the corrective um, protective eye gear in place. Um, and we can't get every single one. It typically takes uh, two treatments to get them very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thanks. Wonderful. Good. So Thank no you. bruising, but it can show up later. Um, if a bruise does happen, it typically will last about a week.